Hi guys, it's username K. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to do a first drive review on the Sinus GPX125. Now, of course, as I'm about to do it, it starts to rain. Sod war. But yeah, I suppose it's real life, real conditions. You can't permanently control the sun and the dry and the warm. So I'm going to ride this and let you guys know what I think of it. Oh, it's so pretty as well and now it's just getting covered in rain. Look at that, it's even got the new tyre stripe. I suppose we're not putting down bags of power so hopefully we should be alright. But yeah, let's, uh, let's actually ride this see what I think. Okay guys, so this is my first impressions review. I do apologise, there's nowhere to mount the GoPro on this. Oh, I'll put it in first gear. Ugh. That was a bit gunko. straight away the wrong way here it says turn left onto Dale Street okay so <laughs> that's annoying I instantly went wrong in my directions I turned left instead of right but that is because one, I have no sense of direction and two, there is no way for me to mount anything on these bars. <laughs> There's just no room. So yeah, we're back on track, going in the right direction. <laughs> so it said straight on, but we just got over it. Oh. So guys, I'm taking out the Sinus GPX125 for its first ride. I've just been to one of my local-ish dealerships, KD Motorcycles in Accrington, and from here I figured, you know, we put the camera on, we do some documenting about what I think about the Sinus GPX on the road. One thing that I'm contending with today is the wind. Well, let me tell you, on the way here, I was literally getting bullied into like almost oncoming traffic because the wind over the tops that's all exposed it was so hardcore and obviously 125s Sinus, this one is super light 158 kilograms and that's with a full tank and yeah I was getting bullied so it certainly feels weird being on a, a sporty 125 I've not really ridden a, a sporty 125 for ages so yeah, it's a bit gutting that I can't mount anything here. So I can't have a forward facing camera, which sucks. One, two, five, Euro five compliant, single cylinder. It's just your typical cookie cutter engine set up for a 125 so how am I finding the Sinus GPX 125 so far it's actually really oh my god ah! 
There's a burst pipe there. <laughs> I'm actually finding the Sinus GPX 125 really, really fun. Uh, not the best road conditions here. So we've got link brakes and I tell you what, the back brake is, it really puts the front on. It's almost like pointless to use your front brake because it's even more potent on the rear brake. Setting off, got a rev it. Gets up to 30 mile an hour quick enough. So we've got a bit of a hill. In 200 yards, turn left. I don't bloody know what 200 yards is. I've never mastered this. I'm assuming it's going to be this giveaway here. It's got to be on it. Got to be. Got a grid and diesel to contend with. Power on. Got a nice hill. We're in third gear. I am definitely feeling the wind today. And no, it's not dodgy ice cream. <laughs> it's the actual wind. Yeah, that, uh, that rear brake is strong. You're going straight, it's keeping your lead. Oh wow, look at all this traffic. So, I guess. Hmm. Don't really think. It's telling me to turn right. Otherwise I would be going on to the motorway. Okay, so we're going to do some filtering. Wait for this car to pass. There we go. Off we pop. 125s are just great at filtering, they're just so nimble. I'm trying to figure out the best way around. Seriously, fighting the wind today. So I think it wants me to turn left. So we're going to have to weasel in somewhere. But we'll push our luck. We're on a 125. It's all about pushing your luck, isn't it? <laughs> With the, the spaces that you can get into. believe it's so traffic -y. it's so heavily congested it's unreal <sighs> we've got a lot of filtering to come yeah it is definitely a reach for me to touch the floor on this bike both feet are down at the minute just because it's so windy 
and I am on my tiptoes pretty bad. Thank you. Ah, that'll do it. Well, there's lots of diesel on the road here, which ain't ideal. Yeah, something's gone really wrong there. Like, very wrong. Pains me to see a nice BMW like that. Well, that wasn't very good. That was very expensive for someone. But now we've got a free road in front of us. Okay, riding position. It's not a super aggressive sports bike position. Yeah, it's a little bit wristy, but not massively wristy. I am lent over a little bit. But overall, God, this wind is putting me close to vehicles. But overall, I have been riding this bike probably for about two hours just over. And so far, I'm really comfy, and that's even with a big rucksack on. I wouldn't normally advocate riding with a rucksack on. It's not the safest thing, but it is the risk versus convenience for me as a vlogger. got to carry my stuff somehow and there's a fair bit of it so full throttle up the hill 40 it's not a drop in here it is went to 39 but that's not bad going second gear around here just because the roads are gross at the moment wind it on third gear You know what? It is just, it just picks its feet up like a 125 does. It's not in a rush. But 12.7 brake horsepower. They, they are what they are. So moving on to the brakes. So the brakes are pretty good. You can stop on the front one absolutely fine. But if you want a lot of stopping power, I find that the rear brake is more effective. Let's take it down to 30. A speed where this bike is comfortable. And I think it's a third exit here. Just trying to avoid grids and stuff. Another first exit. into Darwin. Look at these views. Wow. Like rear brake. Yeah, it stops good. Wow, this view. In the higher gears, third, fourth, fifth, you can kind of fake that quick shifter going up the box and it's pretty smooth but obviously it doesn't come with a quick shifter suspension suspension is really impressive actually it is firm enough 
to absorb bumps but it's soft enough to be comfortable and isn't jarring at all in the slightest which is probably good because obviously 125 no adjustment on anything straight on lovely around these parts oh that wind I do find the bite quite far out on this thing House. Hello. Oh, baked goods. No, you're on a diet, Kate. You're trying to fit in your leathers for this track day. Which I think I'm going to have to end up borrowing some leathers. Because I'm cycling every night, but... No, <laughs> Mike will be looking at the screen now going, Cycling every night, you liar! I'm cycling when I can. Oh, that is a strong statement. Love me a bright Aston. Yeah, so the bite's quite far out and the levers aren't adjustable and I do have child hands, as you guys know. And there's a lot of people, they say, why don't you just hold your bars a bit further in towards the yoke so that you could reach it more, but it doesn't feel right to hold my bars with that close. So sixth gear, wide open and we're accelerating gently. But then again, I did just whack it on in sixth gear as opposed to working the gears. So I wouldn't say that's too bad for a 125. Right, full throttle, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. What do you guys think of this whole cockpit dash setup? I think it feels really premium actually. You've got that tinted screen as standard which just makes it look a little bit more sporty. You've got a lovely colourful dash that does look really nice. You've got this big old solid yoke which doesn't give me flimsy vibes in the slightest. What is it like for vibrations? It's actually not that bad. You definitely get a few more vibes through the pegs than you do through your wrists. But again, you're going to get that on any sort of high revving motor that's like screaming its knackers off because you're trying to get it to move. Like it's a single cylinder, You've, you can only expect so much from them. Tell you what, I think I've been through about 15 speed cameras today, and that is not a lie. So it's quite funny. So when I come to a stop, I've got my beer belly resting on this tank. My feet go down behind the pegs. So I kind of look like I'm just awkwardly bending over. So 125 sort of first ride impression. What do I think about this bike if you're a learner looking to get on a 125 bike? Particularly a sporty one. Do you know what? I don't think this is a bad package at all. And the reason for that, one, it looks lovely. I just parked it outside the dealership that I just visited and people are like, wow, what is that? I haven't seen one in before. That looks nice. It looks sharp. And it really does. Like you pull up at traffic and say you've got a black car in front of you and you can kind of make out your reflection and the lights, how they're set out. 
it's just really really nice i feel like the back end the lights favor a panagali just with how sort of wide and liney they are you guys know what i mean by that it's just not a block light it's like elegant almost so yeah one looks lovely two as i'm finding out today it rides great it really does you don't have anything first and second gear like you've got a rev it and it doesn't really move but then once it it finds its feet you can do speeds that it needs to do obviously i wouldn't like to subject it to a lot of motorway miles but then again if you've got an l plate and you're riding this on a cvt and not as a full a1 license holder you're not going to be taking it on the motorway so that's really a non-conversation i didn't realize this was two lanes is this two lanes never going to be able to get over here because I can't bloody see that's one thing I've set this mirror up terribly so I think I'm just gonna have to fact no I'll go this way seems like the best idea we'll spin it round here It's like that. I tried to feather the bite, but the bite is so far out. I just had a little bit of like free roll time there. That was a bit grim. Oh no, is it up there? No, surely not. I think I've still just gone wrong. What's 300 yards when it's at home? Turn right here I think oh my god it's like wacky races let's go Revit. see this is literally how terrible my sense of direction is I don't want to go to bloody Asda, do I? Oh. Ah, I know where I am. <laughs> My sense of direction's kicked in a little bit. I only know that because that is the vets that I take Jasper to when he's been scrapping and getting infections. Yep, so to be quite honest, my right mirror at the moment is about as much use as tits on a fish. It's pulling here. Oh my god. I've just got in the middle of a funeral procession. Oh no. Oh no, I'm that person. Oh, I'm sorry. Hopefully I can get in front here and just leave them on their merry way merry way it's not merry is it what is my choice of words today so yeah if i was looking for a 125 and i wanted a sporty one because i wanted to look cool and i wanted to get used to the riding position because my future dreams and desires are to own a bigger sports bike would i own the sinus gpx 125 absolutely i think it's cheap and cheerful I am pretty impressed with the quality. Rear brake. Oh, it stops so well. It stops when people want to, you know, stop very, very early away from the lights. <laughs> I 
have a look. Sometimes these lights are on red. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Keep it pink. We've got a hill coming up. Now I know that 56 mile an hour up here, I know the bike's not doing 56 mile an hour, so because the speedo is slightly out. So yeah, overall, I've had a, a pretty good ride on this today. It's done everything that I expected and a bit more. Oh, it paid off. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. And yeah, until the next time, stay safe. Bye.